of everyone here today. I don't know if we ever touch that person again in post-closing TA about their credit score. In fact, some people we know who bought a house with Justine Peterson, I'm, I'm just a con large confession here, right? Uh, possibly are paying their mortgage today with a money order and no longer even have a bank account. So again, the whole idea of the credit score, and I'm going to argue, and actually, this is coming from Rob Boyle, our CEO is in the room here. Rob essentially pushed this idea that the asset alone can be the credit score. So no longer can someone come into Justine Peterson, find out that it may be six to 12 months to buy a home, and walk out the door and feel that their asset less. That is, your credit score alone can be, your, can be an asset, an amazing asset. It can be a, quite a factor of purchasing power. And now, anyone walking through the doors of Justine Peterson could potentially raise their credit score, become economically empowered, and essentially have this asset that's a continuous process, no longer just merely a tangible asset as a house, or an asset in terms of a business loan, but essentially an asset that's forever growing and forever saving in thousands of dollars over the course of their lifetime. So it was a postmodern exercise for us. I kid you not, and that is here we were actually dealing with something called the credit score. And it's not that it was the large elephant in the room that we didn't talk about, but there wasn't necessarily a direct addressing of the credit score, especially post-asset acquisition. So the long and short of it is, it's all about your credit score. Uh, when I'm speaking with clients, they usually tell me, Galen, you sound like a broken record, and that's exactly, in fact, I want to annoy you today. I hope when you leave today, you think, man, that guy, all he did was talk about credit scores, credit scores, credit scores. But I'm going to argue it is of focal importance. Um, the FDIC household study that was done in, at least in December 2009 had St. Louis number one in the nation for unbanked and underbanked African Americans. This whole idea of credibility is totally related to this idea of bankability and banking the unbanked. And I, I won't go off on a tangent on how I have an issue, how the survey doesn't look at credit scores, but I'm going to argue it's not merely about bank accounts and such. In fact, money in a bank account is possibly spent at predatory rates if, in fact, one doesn't have a high credit score. So again, I'm going to push credit score, credit score, credit score. Um, ubiquity of credit score relevance, page to page, payday loan. I wish I had time for stories. I'd like to tell stories.